guys, welcome to the Napoleon Purtis makeup channel on YouTube. I'm here with Kate Squires today. She's the national creative team leader. So tell us a little bit about the new product that Napoleon's come out with. It's the matte eye ink. What was his inspiration behind it or what is the product? Okay, so Napoleon says think ink. So matte eye ink goes on super inky but then sets to this kind of on trend matte chalky finish. So um, he's calling it his LBL, his little black liner. Oh, that's cute. Yes, it's quite cute. But it's got a really, really super fine wand and being able to dip the super fine wand into the well gives you control about how much, uh, or control over how much product you're actually applying. It's more like a felt tip pen, so it does bend and it is quite flexible. Um, Very easy to use in my experience. Yeah, definitely. And it's not too short and it's not too long. I think that's what I personally struggle with, with especially um, kind of like a delivery system like this wand is when the the tip is too long, I don't have as much control because the further away my, my fingertips are from where I'm actually holding the product, you then start to get a little bit shaky. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, should we move on to how Napoleon says we should apply it? I believe he says mascara first. Yes, so always mascara first. And why does he say that? What's the reason for that? So applying your mascara first maps out the eye and kind of tells you where to go from there and where to stop. So this is the Mesmerize Mascara. And it's got that kind of double edged sort of a wand. So a really fine comb and then a really kind of fat comb. So the fine comb allows you to um, achieve that, just that, the combed effect um, and get that beautiful splayed out finish. So without clumping them together. And then the, the thicker side allows you to come back in and really kind of build volume and definition at the roots of the lash. So this is the matte eye ink. And we're gonna talk a little bit about ways that you can apply this. So my first tip, I guess, is to set yourself up. I personally like to rest my elbow on a bench, like this one here, so that I've got that stability in my arm. And also hold the product like a pen. So I have it pinched between these two fingers and then the one, the middle finger underneath resting. And then I use it sort of to maneuver that way. So the only movement's really coming from my fingers. Yeah. And no, then I move my arm sideways to get the don't the need length. to put you back into it. No. Just all in the yeah. rest in the fingers. And I've got a mirror here that I'll be looking down into so that when I look down into it, my eyelid's much more flat. When you're looking straight into the mirror, it's helpful to sort of see where, what the eyeliner's gonna look like when your eyes are open, but to apply it, I like to look down so that it's less likely I'm going to hit my upper lid or the socket with the product. Yep. Good tip. That's what I like to do. Okay. So personally for me, just with my eye shape, I've actually got a very lucky eye shape for doing eyeliner because there's quite a bit of space. When my eyes are open, my socket ends about there. So I've got quite a bit of room between my socket and the end of my eye to do a flick if I wanted to do one. But you don't necessarily have to do a flick. So let's maybe just do a simple line for now. I think, yeah, start small. Yeah, and I'm just gonna start with the tip of the brush and until you get maybe a bit more confident in applying it, then you can press down harder and get a more thick line. So I'm just going to start with the tip and I'm actually resting my pinky on my face here for more stability. And just doing small little lines. And I started from the center, moving out. Um, and sometimes I even just like to leave it simple and maybe just start from the outer half and, and finish it at the end like that because I find that that really lifts the look of my eye. If you want to extend it, then I would draw it in personally. Some people like to start at the inner corner though. It's all about kind of trial and error and finding what works for you. So. so I've just gone and done my entire top lid and you could totally leave it like that, couldn't you Kate? You could, definitely. But I guess if I want to do a wing, we could talk about some tips there because a lot of people struggle with this. They do, and I think it's um, I think it's probably the one thing in makeup that I myself, even when I'm having a bad day, I still find it really hard. So if you do find it hard at home, don't hot, don't you know, be too hard on yourself. Yeah. Um, but again, it's about trial and error and fi figuring out the right fit for your eye shape. So how do you personally? Well, what's your favourite way? I usually start by lining the top lash line, just like this. Yeah. And naturally, I like to make it thicker at the outer part, just again, to get that lifted effect. Um, but then I would draw in the, the wing. So what I would do is firstly, dip back into the pot and just get some more product on the brush. And then I would look straight ahead into a mirror and just see where my socket is. And then, looking ahead, I might draw in the little dot that I want to make the wing. 
So this is one way I do it. Sometimes I feel confident enough to just draw the wing in, but a lot of the time I'll actually draw a little dot to connect to. And then you can start connecting that line up toward the dot. I think one thing that you're doing which is really, really important is using really short kind of dabbing or feathering motion. So yeah. you're not trying to achieve a line in one really kind of fluid, long flowing line because when you when you start to do that, it you lose control of the wand and, and yeah. of the brush and that's when you the skin can kind of crease and you get a bit of a rippling effect. So those really short um, kind of controlled dabbing motions are, are what you want to try and achieve. Okay, so that eye's done and that's what it looks like on me. As I said, I've sort of got a good eye for doing this kind of eyeliner, but what are your tips for some people that might have a hooded eye or a different type of eye shape to me? Beautiful. So I think um, if you're crease if your eyes quite hooded and your crease extends further out from the outer corner of the eye sometimes for you uh, this wing might just not be suitable and to actually get that beautiful kind of fluid flowing flick happening you've actually got to get make it quite intense and quite strong so that it becomes a really dramatic statement so sometimes it is unfortunately just kind of keeping your liner quite tight and can and and contained within yeah, the eye space. I mean, everyone's eye is different. Not every hooded eye is going to be the same. No. But even if your eye was hooded like this, you can still see the wing, you know, before the crease ends. And yeah. then when you look down, you still get that effect. But maybe you just can't go as high as someone yeah, like me has. Definitely. Maybe you could show everyone on camera what you've done with your eyeliner. As you can see, I've got a bit of a different shaped eye to Chloe. My The crease of my eye, when my eye looks straight ahead, ends almost nearly at the outer corner of my eye. So it means that I don't have as much eyelid showing when I'm looking straight ahead. So uh, what I find if I try and achieve what Chloe's just achieved, by the time I open my eye, the wing kind of does this ripple effect in the outer corner and you don't get that beautiful kind of fluid extension. So what I do is I round my eye a little bit more through the center of the eye just by making my, my line a little bit thicker and then I dip it down so it almost tapers thin at the inner corner, becomes quite thick as it rounds across my eyelid and then tapers almost to a fine point at the outer corner of the eye and then I give it just that little extension and little flick which I always do with my eye open. So um, what I find is if I take my line any thicker at the outer corner of the eye before the flick, you lose it. And especially when you're smiling, it kind of just creases up and it, does not, it doesn't flatter my eye at all. So just that really hint of a small hint of a flick is what I find flatters this eye shape. Oh, so say I've just gone and made a big boo-boo like that. What was that tip you just gave me with a liner brush? Yeah. And so I like to use a really kind of fine eyeliner brush. That's our G5 angle brush and a makeup wipe. And you dampen your brush with the makeup wipe and you can use, use the brush like you would do to apply liner, but you're using it to actually remove. Perfect. Now I might go in and make these eyes even and then we can talk about ways we can really dress up this look with some false lashes. So Kate, thanks for all those awesome tips with the eyeliner. I guess we could show um, now a way to take this look from day to night. Um, Napoleon's just come out with this kit. What is it? Yeah. So this is our lash starter kit, which is super exciting. Um, and it's the perfect thing to have in your makeup bag because it's got all of your lash essentials. Comes with these, right? It does come with two sets of lashes. Oh, two. This is that just is one good. that we've got here. So in your little lash kit is your Neo Noir liquid liner which is the glossy version of our liner. Uh, you get a mascara wand. You also get a mini eyelash glue, tweezers, and a, an applicator stick. So this is a really great stick that you can use to kind of get in and press down at the inner corners, oh, or the outer awesome. corners, if the lashes are lifting. And these lashes are Lux Mink Lashes. Yes, they are They're the beautiful. latest lash addition to our collection, but absolutely beautiful. So fluffy. Okay, so first, step is to apply the glue. This comes in the kit. So this is a latex glue, which is my favorite type of lash glue to use. Definitely. And then I've got my eyelashes here. I've actually already trimmed them to my eye shape. Then take the eyelashes in the tweezers. And then I run the glue over the black band of the eyelashes. And 
and I personally wait maybe 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, so that the, la the lash glue isn't really wet when you go to put it on your eye. Yeah, it's good to let it get tacky, so it will not necessarily adhere instantly, but it will adhere quite quickly, so it gives you just that few seconds of of movement to play around with the lash and really get it in place. And again, looking down into a mirror, and if you need to, you can rest your elbow on a table for stability, and then you slowly come right at your eyelash line, looking down into a mirror, stick it in the middle, right at the base of your lashes, so just literally resting the lashes right on top of where your natural eyelashes are. And then I pinch the corners down, so I grab them with the tweezers, and press them in to meet the inner corner and then the outer corner then if you need to just use the end of the stick to press down the lashes and get it as close as possible to the natural lash line now if you've got some of the glue showing it should dry clear isn't that right yeah but if you want to clear. you could go right over the top with some of the eyeliner from before and that should cover it right up if there is any visible. Yeah, matte eye is perfect. That wand will just kind of glide over the base of the lash and conceal any kind of glue or sheeniness from the, from the, the end of the lash. Very nice, let's do the other eye. And that's the finished look. Love so it. I love it, yeah. It's very glamorous and it's a little bit like, especially with this colored lip, which is Hara, by the way, from the Divine Goddess collection. Um, it's a little bit, Pinner-ish. It is a bit pinner-ish. Yeah, I love Quite that. a modern take because with yeah. the orange, it's not too. It's not too typical. Scary. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I love it. So that's it. I think we're finished for all the tips we've got for eyeliner and lashes. Let us know what you guys thought because we'd love to find out exactly what you want to see on this YouTube channel. Let us know in the comments and once more, don't forget to subscribe to the Napoleon Purtis YouTube channel. The button is below. So as always, all the products that I've used today as well as all the products that I've actually got on my face, if you're curious about my contouring or anything, that will all be listed below in the description box. So open that bar and check it out. Or you can head to your local Napoleon Purtis store or counter and get all the information you need from one of the lovely assistants there and try it out for yourself. So that's it from us. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Pleasure. And as I said, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you thought in the comments. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye. Bye. <laughs>